know, I'm very happy for you. David, you fought on Errol Spence cards uh, a, a couple times, right? How does it feel being a spectator this week and not being able to suit up and it's a big fight? Uh, how, feel, how does that feel? It feels feel? good. I was just talking to one of my buddies about that. Um, you know, usually you don't really enjoy the fight week too much when you're fighting because when you're losing weight, you're doing interviews and all this. But now, since I'm not fighting, I get to be behind the scenes and, you know, I get to, you know, enjoy the press conferences, enjoy the media workouts and enjoying all this. So I'm excited, man. It's, it's, uh, it's dope to be back here and see all these people. You know, the crowd is always electric every time, you know, um, they see me, they give me a lot of support, so I'm just happy to be here. How does it feel to be uh, have a huge fight around the time where the NBA playoffs are starting in your city of Phoenix and the Phoenix Suns are arguably the best team in the NBA? It feels good, man. Um, it makes me proud just coming out from Phoenix. You know, I'm fighting for a title. You know, the, the, the Suns are going for another title, too. So I feel like Phoenix is just coming up and... Um, you know, it just makes me proud to be from Phoenix, man. And, uh, you know, we're putting on for the city in a big way. And how do you feel about, um, as far as the Charlo situation, I know you was asked a little bit about that, but do you feel like, because some people feel that he ducked you. Some people said there was, there, there was a lot of speculation. Yeah. What happened with the Charlo fight? I don't know. There's a lot of talk. There's a lot of talk, you know what I mean? But um, I don't know if that fight's going to get made happen or if it's not going to get made happen. I feel like there's a good possibility it could be made happen because it makes sense not only just for going forward to trying to get a title, but, you know, the money that would make fighting each other. That's a big fight. You know, I feel like I would make more money fighting him than fighting Lemieux, and he would make more money fighting me than fighting the guy he's fighting. So it, may, it makes sense. It makes sense. So I feel like moving forward, that's a big opportunity, and that's something uh, I'm pretty sure they think about that too. I know this is one of the biggest fights it is to make. And I got one last question. Uh, Floyd Mayweather did it, but do you feel you are the man to beat Canelo Alvarez in this era? I'm very confident I can beat Canelo. Um, I know it's going to take a lot of hard work. It's not going to be easy by any means, but, you know, I feel like in my soul, you know, I, I, I believe in myself, my power, and I feel like I can hurt anybody, you know, and it shows in my record. You know, I have 25, 25 victories, uh, 22 by knockout, so I know I can hurt anybody. But, um, like I said, if I can't get Canelo, you know, I'm going to go through everybody until I get to Canelo. They're not going to be able to deny me a fight. I'm sorry, one last question. What is your reaction to Canelo saying he doesn't fight Mexicans? I don't know. I'm, I'm not only Mexican. I'm Mexican Ecuadorian. So man, you got there's something else. So you fair game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. David, you asked a lot of trainers, professional fighters, everybody, you know, fighters who are retired. They all point to you saying you are the one that will be the biggest test for Canelo. How does that make you feel at this moment? Makes me feel really good, bro. Especially getting all the the. Um, you know, all the support from a lot of people, not only just the regular people, from world champions, you know, like uh, Mike Tyson, you know, Julio Cesar Chavez, you know, the guys that know the game. And it just gives me more motivation and, um, to go in there and work even harder. You know, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm 25 right now and I'm, I'm coming into the second part of my career where I'm really getting all my man strength and I'm getting all this experience from all these fighters. And, um... So, so I'm just excited to go in there, man, and I show the people and prove my people right. David, I know you probably answered this question already. Everybody wants to hear your thoughts on it. The Canelo Bivol fight, obviously Canelo going up to 175, Bivol being the national 175 pounder. What's your thoughts on that fight? I think it's going to be a great fight, man. Um, I think Bivol has a lot of power, you know, so he has, he can hurt Canelo, you know, with a good right hand. But I, I don't, I'm not too sure about his inside game. And Canelo, if he gets inside the inside game, you know, it's game over. But. You know, um, Bivol is a hard person to catch. He moves around a lot. He knows how to keep his distance. So I'm expecting a good fight. I was at the fight the previous one when you won it right there at Phoenix, Arizona. Facing the Mew, you expect a big crowd coming to support you like they have in his previous fights in your hometown. Oh, it's going to be a bigger crowd this time. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people showed out. And um, no disrespect to Kyron Davis, but Kyron Davis wasn't really a big uh, opponent. So now that's going to be for a, a title, an interim title, and um, it's, a, it's an ex-world champion. I feel like a lot of people are excited to see this fight, and I'm ready to give them a great show. Let me ask you this, David. We had an opportunity to talk to Tom Lauper at Triple G. Uh, you know, he mentioned that he's willing to go up to fight Canelo at 168. You know, obviously, if that fight works to marinate, he eventually wants to, you know, look at other opponents at 168 to, uh, to make a bang of fight. He did mention your name. What are your thoughts about a potential showdown between you and Triple G? What do you think as far as him as a fighter? I'm definitely ready um, for anything right now. I feel like as a fighter, I have the utmost respect for Triple G. I've trained with him and he's taught me a lot of stuff and you know he's all around he's a great person. I have nothing bad to say about Triple G. But if I, if I would give that up get that opportunity, I would definitely take it. It's an opportunity that could change my life. You know, and just solidify me in the boxing world. So uh, I'm ready, I'm ready for whatever. I'm ready for whatever, but um, I would definitely take that fight. When you think about the list of boxing, David, uh, all the fighters that are 26 and under, you got yourself, Arthur Ortiz, Shakur Stevenson, Teofimo Lopez.
as uh, Devin Haney, all of these guys, what do you feel as far as uh, you being in, in the, the same list as those guys, what does that make you feel in, as far as a fighter? It makes me feel good, but not only even for myself, it just makes me feel proud of all the, all the new generation coming up. I know most of these guys, and you know, we've been here for a long, long time, and now we're about to take over. You know, I feel like uh, the, the fighters are, they're already, you know, they're kind of, they're not on their way out, but you know, I feel like we're the fresher, we're the fresher generation. And you know, there's a lot of exciting fighters, uh, you know, around my age. You know, we're all big hitters, you know, we all put on great fights, and you know, it just, it just makes me proud about, you know, the younger generation that, that we share today. And you being a student of the game, David, who are some of the, uh, your favorite fighters that you like seeing active that are relatively around the same age as you, that you enjoy watching? I, um, I wouldn't say favorite, but I do like watching a lot of, uh, I like watching Gervonta Davis, I like watching Devin Haney, my, my, my uh, teammate Jose Valenzuela, um, Virgil Ortiz, Virgil Ortiz, he's another great fighter, you know there's, there's a lot of great fighters coming in bro, um, yeah bro, but there, you know there's a lot of great fighters and the thing about this generation is that everybody's hitters, you know what I mean, oh and, and Gerard Ennis, you know I gotta give him his props too because he's a great fighter too. Especially this, I know you, may, you spoke on it uh, briefly. But you know all the all the legends, brother. Um, Marco Antonio Barrera, Eric Morales, Julio Cesar Chavez, Mike Tyson. Everybody's calling you the Mexican monster, brother. Do you think that it's it's putting in some sort of fear when it comes to uh, a lot of other potential opponents that, for whatever reason, just simply do not want to fight you? They just can't make the fight happen due to business reasons. You know, um, I don't know. I don't really know, bro. To be honest, but I feel like it wasn't overnight. You know, I earned this. I earned this. You know, when they call me Mexican monster, because I've been here for a long time. Bro. I turned pro at 15, you know, I'm 25 now, so I've been here for 10 years, and I've been putting in the work, you know, I know I've had a couple setbacks, but I've always came back, every time I'm in the ring, I give my all, so I've earned, I've earned every, everything I, uh, that they call me, and, and you know, everything, when they, they give me that respect, I've earned it, but, um, as for it is, I can't speak on another man being scared to fight me, or being scared to fight somebody else, you're a fighter, you're not supposed to be scared of nobody. You know, I'm not scared of nobody, and that's how I feel like it's supposed to be. What was, was your reaction? What was your reaction to the Mike Tyson podcast where he said, "Man, you don't want to fight that Mexican monster." He said he ain't no Mexican monster. It, just, it, it, it makes me feel good that Mike Tyson supports me a lot like that, and I've been a fan, fan of Mike Tyson for so long, and I feel like he seems the same ferocity in me. You know, I, well, the same attitude we go in there, but he's uh, this just makes me really happy, man. You know, seeing a legend that I looked up to, one of my favorite fighters, you know, give show me a lot of support like. That really makes me happy. You hear the thoughts of Canelo going vegan? I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I can't do that. I like chicken. I like steak. I like